from the vault. That time a weird pork commercial became an ATOD meme. August 2023. While we were driving up, my girlfriend uh, was telling me about this video of a 1970s ad. And I am obsessed with it. Uh, this ad is just, you know, like if you're like me and you like that weird shit, right? <laughs> weird internet content. Like we're here for the weirdness, aren't we? I think me and my audience. Uh, if you are, then this ad is right up your fucking street. It, this ad is is everything. Like I put it on Twitter the other day. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm obsessed with this ad. You know, just the tones and the undercurrent of hate and resentment that flow through this man, this father. He's just angrily promoting British pork and he's giving off huge serial killer or like murder suicide vibes. He just is. He, anyway, look, I'm I'm going to play it for you. Are, are you ready? I'm going to share it with you guys. So here we go. Let's fucking do this. Got what it takes, my wife. Got friends round. Got roast pork for lunch. Plenty of taste, British pork. Real value for money. Bread's got plenty. Well, Arthur's got plenty. We've all got plenty. Plenty to go round. My wife's got what it takes. British pork. What's it got? It's got the lot. Got pork for lunch on Sunday? <laughs> like, it's just... It's like everything about this video is like a snapshot in time. You know? But it's like... It's both from a, a sort of, you know, a fashion and film quality kind of way. Because they're all obviously of an era, right? It looks very late 70s. You know, maybe early 80s to me. But also... It's a snapshot in time of, of a specific afternoon that took place somewhere in England just before this man murdered his entire family. We've all got plenty. Like, can we just say that? Can we just say it outright that this guy just has to be a murderer, doesn't he? Real value for money. Like, I just don't see how he hasn't buried bodies in marshland. Like, listen to it. Like, look at him. <laughs> Like, I know, I know you're not supposed to judge a book by the cover, but sometimes the illustrations are just so good. Real value for money. We've all got plenty. We've all got plenty. Got what it takes, my wife. Whether, whether we've got friends round, we've got roast pork for lunch. Pl plenty of taste. Roast pork. We've all got plenty. Like, why, why does he sound so menacing? Real value for money. It's like he's angry... At how good the value was. <laughs> I think I think that's what's happening here. It's like he's angry, he's pissed off at how good the deal was. Real value for money. You know, it's it's like when have you ever had somebody like angrily agree with you? You know? Where they go like, Oh, have you heard the new Pearl Jam album? And you go, Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's pretty good. Uh yeah it is. You know, you you like, I know, like I just I just said that. Like why why are you angry about it? Real value for money. Fred, Fred's got plenty. Well, Arthur's got plenty. We've all got plenty. <laughs> we've, we've all got plenty. We've all got plenty, thank you very much. Not that it's any of your business. We've all got plenty. We don't need your shitty pork with no, no meat on the bone and your wife. We've got plenty. Plenty to go round. We've got plenty here, thank you. My wife, my, my wife cooked the pork. Not your wife, my wife, didn't, didn't you, Vera? My wife. You cooked the pork, you, you've got what it takes. You cooked the pork, didn't you? Didn't you, Vera? My wife. Uh, well, well, yes, and, and I, I used the sauce. For... Don't talk, Vera. I already said that. Don't, I said, don't talk. Right, but, but, but I just thought that I said no talking. You know, smashes the plate against the wall. Now clean it up. Anyway, look, in, in these divisive times... It is nice to have a thing that, you know, brings people together. And I just wanted to share with you guys now on the pod how emboldened and validated I felt uh, when I put this on Twitter the other day. And uh, a lot of you, like, because a lot of the time, like, especially when you're partial to weird humour specifically, like you sort of, you know, like you see something and you go, oh, maybe that's funny, you know, or, you know, maybe this guy's a sociopathic serial killer. But there's always a risk that I'm the weird thing. I'm the weird one. And everyone else, when they see it, they're like, oh, like what, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, don't be weird. <laughs> you know? But yeah, it was nice to share this video and find that some of you guys also got major 
family murder suicide energy from this guy like like the hate and the coercive energy just emanating from him we've all got plenty so i put it up on twitter and i said i am obsessed with this advert i like i just cannot articulate the undertones and subtext of hate and coercion that i am detecting from this and you guys said yeah seems like lunch at fred west's uh, hallmarks of a serial killer. I, uh, think he wants to pork me and then possibly bury me under the floorboards. Yep, he's definitely got grand patio plans, hasn't he? And I'm like, <laughs> like, what, what the fuck is going on in this advert? That's when Keith Taylor tweeted back, like, yeah, two options here. One, he fucked that pork joint. <laughs> or two, it's actually the thigh of the son he sacrificed. Uh -uh. Because, I mean, yes, he's so, so sociopath. Isn't he? I mean, look at that face. Look at him. There isn't a jury in the world that wouldn't convict him in a matter of minutes. Even if he had three alibis. Real value for money. My wife got what it takes. Richard said, God only knows what would happen if she didn't have what it takes. My wife. Not your wife. My wife. Tim Mitchell tweeted like, It puts a lotion on its skin or it gets her hose again. All right, guys, look. Look, I, th I think... I think what we're dealing with here is a snapshot in time when when men spoke and behaved a certain way and tv was different you know there was only two channels and so to pass the time for entertainment they would go to one another's houses got friends around and observe each other coercively abusing their families and i'm just i'm just saying i'm here for it i totally understand it you know who doesn't like observing a family row <laughs> who doesn't like kicking back and say oh this is all seeming really awkward and weird. <laughs> I'm here for it. it's the only reason i still show up at christmas <laughs> see some of that drama you know we've we've all opened our presents i've had a little bit of turkey but now i'm a little bit bored more gin aren't trish